Today we're gonna talk about batteries. So I'm gonna give you guys five tips to quick charge or fast charge your iPhone 7, 7 Plus and below because they obviously don't have the quick charge capability uh, and also general tips for your iPhone battery. After that I'm gonna bust five myths regarding your iPhone batteries as well okay so let's go ahead and get started before we do let me just tell you that all the information I'm gonna give you right now came strictly from the Apple website okay so it is not something that I'm inventing or I think it's good or I saw from other youtubers or anything like that this is all straight from Apple so if you want you can go ahead and uh, search that their website and see all their information I'm just trying to give it in a more dense and crunched way so then you can get all the information much faster okay so tip number one full cycle every month okay it is extremely important that you give your iPhone's battery a full cycle every month. That means that at least once a month you need to drain all the battery down to 0% okay and let it give you that icon with the cable and the power and the battery icon meaning that it is zeroed uh, and you need to actually charge it to 100% back okay that's just once a month you do that you will keep your battery healthy. Number two temperature this is very very important and not a lot of people know that but temperature is a critical thing for your battery and not only uh, when you charge it if being hot that's bad as well but another thing that is very important is not leaving your iPhone in a very hot um, environment so Apple recommends that you leave your iPhone in a temperature between 62 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit which is 16 to 22 degrees Celsius okay so uh, this is the perfect temperature for your battery to perform very well and to not be damaged or anything like that over time of course it's very difficult to keep your battery like that but uh, this is what Apple recommends but what they really really recommend not going above is 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius avoid that temperature and obviously avoid leaving your iPhone like that with direct direct sunlight uh, hitting it because it will just damage your battery don't do that now regarding quick charge we need to talk about chargers okay I've got here three different chargers and uh, even though these two look the same and this look different they're all different and let me explain what I mean okay so this charger right here and this charger right here they look very similar but if you look down below okay right here and if you can try to I'm sorry this is ups no, this is not upside down alright so if you look close right here you can see it is 5 watts and this is 10 watts it's very difficult to see because the all the writing and everything is coming off over time but uh, which means that this one the one the higher one is t is twice as powerful as the bottom one because this is an iPad charger okay so to charge your iPhone faster you need to charge it with an iPad charger a lot of people know that and a lot of people don't know that but there are a lot of people that think that using an iPad charger will actually uh, uh, charge it faster but will damage your battery will ruin your battery because it's giving too much power but it doesn't it doesn't ruin and Apple says it doesn't another thing comes straight from Apple so don't worry about it use your Apple charge use your iPad charger it will charge twice as fast okay so don't uh, it's not about the size of the charger is about the number so look for 10 W 10 watts okay this one is a, is a normal iPhone charger 5 watts as well uh, if you have that very tiny one square one you get in the United States same thing 5 watts is not good for your iPhone uh, the best one is the 10 watts one I've used this thing in many many different iPhones maybe three or four different iPhones ever since I got my first iPad 1 and I have never damaged an iPhone battery by using it so you can relax don't worry it won't damage your device when we are charging something that is very important if you need to charge it very fast you need a quick charge go ahead and put in airplane mode okay if you put in airplane mode you will uh, disable many of the functions of your phone which means that uh, the the charge okay the energy that is going through your phone is going straight to the battery and not actually losing by going to other functions and other features and anything like that it is just charging faster because there's not a lot to do uh, the phone is not doing much okay if you want to charge very very fast all you do is plug uh, your iPhone to the wall first and then turn it off okay if you actually turn it off and then plug the iPhone would boot up and then it's exactly the same thing but you gotta do it upside the other way around like I said so uh, plug it up before when you see it is charging you just hold and then 
you turn off your phone okay so then it will be charging with the phone off and that charges very very fast last tip I'm gonna talk about is regarding cases okay this is the Apple leather case it is very heavy it is very thick and uh, therefore it preserves a lot of heat so if you're charging a phone and then it is uh, you're using a case like that a thick case like that okay something that is very very bad is because it will generate a lot of heat so if you're charging generally when I'm charging with this case and I touch the back it is very hot so what I do I remove the case and I recommend you guys doing the same uh, if it is a very thin case or, or, or something similar and it doesn't get hot no problem but if you feel it's getting hot remove it it will charge faster and it will preserve your battery now let's talk about the myths and there are quite a lot of myths if you ask me so if you were born in the 90s or earlier like myself, uh, there, we used to have old batteries, okay? Those batteries were complicated. They had memories, uh, you had to charge them for a long time when you got them, and so on, so on, so on. But these batteries right now, and actually for, for quite a long time now, they are lithium ion batteries, which means that they are a new generation and you don't need to worry about, you don't need to worry too much about charging and charging process. So let me tell you the myths and let me bust them. First of all, first charge myths okay so before uh, when when you buy an old phone it was new but now it's old uh, when you buy a phone you had to drain the battery all the way down to zero uh, percent and then charge it for 12 hours or 16 hours because otherwise it wouldn't have it full its full capacity that doesn't work anymore if you get your phone from the box it has like 20 percent or 30 percent it doesn't matter you can like out of the box plug it or use it or plug it whenever you want so there's no different there's no specific way to charge your phone for the first time okay that's myth number one myth number two you can charge whenever you want and for how long you want okay don't worry about okay I'm just gonna charge my phone when it's over 80 percent or I'm just gonna charge your phone when it's zero or when it's 50 percent it doesn't matter okay you can charge your phone as soon as it's zero and charge it to 100 percent or charge it to 50 percent or charge it when it's 80 to 100 or charge it uh, 50 to 70 it doesn't matter so whenever you want to charge it you charge it and for how long you want if you can charge it for 10 minutes maybe we're in a car and then you just want to charge it uh, to get a little bit more juice because you're on the go no problem you can charge it the way you want it number three your iPhone battery have no memory okay so if you're used to charging your phone only to 80 percent 80 percent 80 percent and you think that it will be its new capacity 80 percent don't worry it doesn't work like that uh, it doesn't have a memory so if you're used to doing that you can keep doing that and when you want to charge to 100 it'll still charge to 100 so you can be cool and last but not least you cannot calibrate your battery some people think that uh, by using some software or by just uh, using some different app or maybe always charging down to 0 to 100 0 to 100 you're calibrating it to always give it its full capacity no it doesn't make any difference okay so you cannot calibrate your battery it is just uh, calibrated via the software and via the hardware and you don't have anything to do with it and you can't do anything with it so that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed it I tried to make this video as informative as possible giving you some tips and busting some myths so you guys know everything about your phone's battery and anything that has to do with it and you are now experts regarding this device battery okay uh, keep in mind that these tips can be used for iPads as well okay so uh, don't worry about it you can use these for your iPad or even for a MacBook okay the batteries are all the same so uh, some tips that you can um, maybe convert for your iPad user MacBook use you can do it so give it its best use so that's pretty much it I hope you liked it please make sure to hit the like button down here watch the video I'm gonna put right here because I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it and also subscribe to this little bubble right there and I'll see you guys next week bye bye